All right, bits puzzle solution. So we start with this image here. Uh, it's shown in the video with these hints on it. This is a QR code that will resolve to the private key of this OX2222 address uh, when you remove the parts that are obscuring it, right? So the goal is to figure out which squares of these covered parts need to be flipped zeros or ones, white or black. From the easiest parts to the most difficult parts, uh, and like I wrote here, the heart is, it simply just needs a bit of contrast. You can actually see uh, up in this area that these colors are different, right? Um, so if you increase the contrast enough, you get this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Directly in the audio of the second song, zero and one are the song names. So in the second song, one, Bender reads out this number, uh, followed by 22, uh, he says two, 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 two. That is a hint that this will be for the Y equals 22 line. Directly from the song, what he says is the answer to that line. The next part is actually in the song spectra. In the actual songs, I hid just simple parts of the QR code as spectral audio. In the order they appear in the song, if you, like, there's really no order. It's like, how do I put these things together, right? So treat them like coordinates on a geometric graph or a Euclidean plane. So, right. So, one, two, three, four. Just like you learned in basic geometry. So once you put those together in that order. So this one is for zero, this one here. And the, uh, the next section for uh, song one is exactly the same. Put those in the quadrant order and you have that section. This part is, so starting at exactly frame 221, that's hinting that uh, this will be line 21, y equals 21. You can kind of see here in this GIF, it actually looks a lot better in the video itself, but the edges of the video frame flash white and black starting at exactly frame 221. And if you go and white is one and black is zero and count that out, you get this. Frame and time counters in the bottom left corner of the video actually had a purpose. They weren't just for fun. So I will remove that line now. So back to those uh, timer counters at exactly 14, 13, uh, I think it's second and frame. So like second 14, frame 13. Uh, I think it's 30 frames per second. It might be 60, but. Uh, all the way to second 21 frame 20, the video inverts for that specific amount of time. That's the only inverted section in the entire video. And what that is alluding to is that this section, which is 14 over 13 up to 21 over 20 up is inverted. And to solve that part, you would just switch the colors of those. So the yeah, middle section inverted. Next, uh, getting a little more difficult here. Um, Hopefully this is visible in this video. Um, it looks a lot better in the spectral viewer on Audacity, but in the right audio track, there is two tone sound. So zero and one, and you can see it here in this video, kind of, uh, it really looks better in Audacity. Um, so zero one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, in just these little areas, um, lower is zero, uh, upper is one. Um, they count through. And this is in a section of the audio that is different and sort of doesn't fit with the rest of the song. So it's kind of strange, right? So that being said, if you go through and you get all of these in order, right? You will you put them here, left to right, left to right. So I'll remove that just to show that. Uh, but the problem is, is that in that section of the video, it's sideways, it's rotated counterclockwise. This is the only part of this video at all that is rotated counterclockwise like that. So the idea is, is that you would rotate that frame clockwise once, just like that. And if you didn't get that clue, the other way that you might figure this out is that this square right here, these types of QR codes always have four. And this other one needs, doesn't have its other side, like something's wrong there and it's in the wrong place. So that's another hint that it needs to be flipped. The next one for x equals 12 uh, line here. This is my favorite part probably of this entire puzzle. So there's this weird glitchy sound that is in the first song a few seconds in and then it's how the second song starts out. That sound is actually the exact same wave file in both sections. And the way to solve this and find these bits is to subtract one song from the other song. And then what you're left with 
is the audio that I embedded in just one of them, right? So both songs have the same WAV file, but in one of the WAV files, I also added the zeros and ones. This here, it's a two-tone thing, just again, like before, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, and so forth. <laughs> Um, so if you line them up exactly in Audacity and subtract them, and the way that you subtract in Audacity is you invert one of the tracks and then combine them as a single track, and then the output. There's some noise in here too. It's, it's pretty noisy, but you, once you do that, you can actually hear these, and you know it's something when you hear it. You can slow it down and listen to it that way and get the bits out like that, or you can just look at the spectra like this. So that is line x equals 12 solved this part here actually isn't important this is not anything that needs to be solved you can actually see here i called it ruin ec or ruin error correction what this attempted to do was completely destroy the error correction that's built into qr code so it couldn't just be solved halfway and then be able to scan right so this this part here logic page zero one is just an attempt to ruin error correction it worked for the most part, but not entirely, as I found out uh, after talking with the person who solved the puzzle. All right, so this last part is what I consider to be the most difficult. And I did that on purpose. I thought that this section here, it, it's all error correction on this side of the QR code. I thought that covering that up would make the rest of this uh, unsolvable, or not unsolvable, but rather you would have to find those parts that I obscured to solve it. Um, that was sort of true, but I found out if you know enough about QR codes, you can suss out what actually needs to be uh, zeros or ones in the QR code. This is in the audio of the song, song one, or rather track named one, song two. <laughs> so I will show you that right now. It doesn't make a lot of sense visually. It's more about the audio and knowing which notes are being played. So it's Every third note in this section corresponds to a zero or a one. Yeah, so every third note is the bit you seek. The zero is the C sharp note, and the one is either D sharp or E sharp. That alone would be extremely confusing. Uh, why is there three C sharp, D sharp, and E sharp? The difference between these two notes is a clue that something is changing. What is changing here is that you need to turn the corner. So the way that that part would be solved is not just reading those bits out left to right like this. It's it's going in as a spiral all the way into the center. So it's 64 bits being played out as notes, spiraling into the center. And the hint that I gave there is that that section is a galaxy that's turning that way like it's going inward to the center right and in the video at that exact section when these notes are being played there is also a galaxy uh, sp spinning clockwise and closing into the center and going away as it approaches like smaller in the, into the center so yeah that's it that's the bits puzzle